Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we are finally bleaching these roots. I cannot even remember the last time I bleached them. I I think it was like January, February maybe, which is like four months ago. I could go through all of my pictures and videos and try and find the exact date, but it was sometime at the beginning of the year and it's now June. We're halfway through the year and these bad boys just keep getting worse and worse. I mean, look at that. Are you be effing for real right now? That is out of control. I always seem to push off bleaching my roots, probably because it damages the out of my hair, you know what I mean? Like no matter how hard I try, I accidentally get bleach on my ends, I accidentally overlap and parts of my hair fall out. So I'm trying, like last time I bleached my roots, you guys, I effed my hair up so bad. I bleached it, didn't leave the bleach on long enough and then had to re-bleach it. It's way past due. We're gonna bleach my roots today. We have entered Pride Month. It's time for some neon rainbow hair. I'm beyond ready. I have a Pride event to go to this weekend and next weekend. So I'm coming back into full form, baby. I'm ready. So I thought to keep the bleaching videos interesting, I would try a new bleach for you guys. This is the Ion Bright White cream lightener i have heard amazing things about this like people on tiktok swear by this bleach and i like cream lighteners i definitely feel like they're more gentle on your hair and people are raving about this one so i picked it up i mix it with my schwartz cough professional 20 volume so we're gonna do this in 20 volume i know nothing about this i just know it's a cream lightener so let's read the packaging and see what it's all about what it can offer my hair and why people love it so much the front of the bottle says enriched with hydrolyzed keratin for superior conditioning so hopefully it keeps my hair intact so i can actually have some rainbow in it eight levels of lift and that is high lift you know what i mean obviously it's going to depend on what volume you use i'm obviously not going to get eight levels of lift with 20 volume but if you used a higher volume I'm sure you could get eight levels of lift. That's all the front says, let's read the back. The back says, Ion Color Brilliance Bright White Cream Lightener with hydrolyzed keratin and sunflower seed oil provides superior conditioning and protection while lightening the hair. Delivers up to eight levels of lift, leaving the hair soft and in optimal condition for toning or adding contemporary hair color. For the directions, it says, depending on the desired degree of lightening and consistency, mix Ion Color Brilliance Lightener in a ratio of one to one or one to two with 10, 20, 30, or 40 volume ion sensitive scalp, scalp cream developer. If applying to the scalp, full head or root application, use ion sensitive scalp cream developer 20 volume or less in a one to two mixing ratio. For application and development time, it says apply ion color brilliance lightener evenly to the hair. Total development time should not exceed 50 minutes and do not use heat. So there are the instructions. I have mixed mine up a one to two ratio. I am doing on the scalp. It suggests one to two ratio for doing on the scalp application. I always prefer a one to two ratio. I just like the consistency better. It's not as thick. I'm not a fan of thick lightener. It dries out easier. It's harder to apply. The product doesn't go like longer. So I like to mix it one to two ratio anyway, which is good because that's what it suggests. So um, I am not going to start in the back today because I have so many pieces of little tiny broken off hairs back here. And I don't want it to like overlap on these or leave it back there. I also feel like the heat on my head is more condensed and my head gets hotter in this back section. All of my hair lays on top of that and it gets really hot in the nape of my neck and in this area. The hair around your hairline and the nape of your neck and in your crown does tend to be more fragile. So I think that's why a lot of people start in the back because it's very fragile around your hairline. I'm starting in the front. If you wanna start in the back, you can start in the back. One more thing before we get applying. Um, the most important thing to me is making sure I can clearly see the back of my head. I feel like in the past few times I've bleached my head, that has not been my priority. I'm more worried about camera angles or something else. This time I am solely focused on making sure I can see what I'm doing. I do not want to overlap this. I do not want to get any bleach on my ends. You guys know I just did a bunch of color removers and I am not trying to damage my hair even further. So we are going to place a mirror in the back of my head. I'm gonna turn off my beauty lights or dim them significantly because I cannot see what I'm doing in the back of my head if these are glaring in my face. So let me get everything set up, my hair sectioned off, and we're gonna have a calming hair bleaching session because I need it, okay? We're gonna dim the lights. We're gonna calm the voice. We're gonna relax a second. I'm kind of wound up right now because 
my weakness. I love these things. I will be right back with different lighting and my hair sectioned off. We're back. And as you can see, it is much darker here, but that's okay. I have my hair sectioned off. I'm gonna start with these two front ones and then I'm gonna work my way from the top to the bottom. I think I'm gonna actually wait and apply it to my hairline last because my hairline is fragile and I do have some broken pieces around my hairline. So I think I might just wait and do that part last. You guys, do you see how grown out this is? Like, please, this is ridiculous. I need to be touching up my roots every like six to eight weeks and I have really, really been dragging it out now. This is my absolute favorite brush for applying bleach. It's from Framar and it has this like comb at the end. I forget what this is called, a rat tail whatever and that this works amazing at sectioning off the hair some people are like don't use metal on your scalp it irritates your scalp and then you're putting bleach on your scalp just let me live my life you know what i'm saying if you don't want to use metal on your scalp that is totally okay it's a lot easier than using a normal brush with like a thicker plastic end i really like this fine detail if you're a hairstylist you can also use it for foiling so you don't have to have like a foiling comb and a brush it's like all in one i'm trying to keep this hair down out of the way so it's not overlapping or getting tangled or anything you know i'm really gonna try and be precise this time with bleaching my roots we can't have any accidents because they would not be happy accidents as bob ross would say they would be tragic accidents and we only like happy accidents and i need to make sure i'm pulling this down far enough to cover my roots but not far enough where it's like overlapping all of this i am on a fine line here you know what i mean and for me when i apply lightener i like to do the top section and the bottom section some people only apply it to the top like this and then they section this off and then they apply it here and then they section i like to do both sides just to make sure everything is covered and coated i don't want to miss any pieces of hair i don't want any banding you know i'm not trying to look like a cheetah or look like a tortoiseshell cat i would like to look like my hair is evenly bleached. And today, we are not messing around with the processing time. I'm gonna be letting this process uh, the amount of time it needs to process for it to be like almost white. Like, I am not going to rinse it early. Whenever I bleach my roots, I feel like I panic, you know? Like I'm like, oh, my hair's gonna fall out, it's gonna fry off. So like I instinctively rinse it out. But as I learned last time, rinsing your hair out before it's ready to be rinsed out only makes it so that way you have to bleach your hair again and that creates even more damage so today we will be processing a good amount of time probably 40 45 minutes somewhere along in there i just really want to make sure it's lifted light enough i don't want any banding i would like it to be a nice pale yellow or white so we're just gonna let it sit and do slow and low slow and low as the hairstylists say or is it low and slow i think it's low and slow but you get the point taking the extra time to apply the lightener carefully will make me feel better about leaving it on my hair longer. If I see that I'm overlapping it or I see that I accidentally got some of my ends in the bleach, I panic a little bit more while it's processing. But if I know I'm doing a good job and I'm not overlapping anything, it makes me panic less and be more comfortable with leaving it on. So that's what we're aiming to do today. Oh my gosh, you guys know what I've been watching? Basically, when I was a teenager in high school, one of my favorite shows to watch was The Bad Girls Club. And I'll tell you what, I used to love that show. Like love it so much to where like I really wanted to get like a Bad Girls Club logo tattoo. I, I really, really wanted that to be like one of my first tattoos. Um, I did not get one, but I just got Hulu and by I got Hulu, I mean I did a free trial because I'm not paying for that subscription service. I'll do as many free trials as I can until they make me pay, you know what I mean? And I have been watching Bad Girls Club. And let me tell you, it's different when you're an adult. When you're a kid, you're like, oh yeah, like they're all so cool and so like badass and stuff. Let me tell you something. They in fact are not. They are a bunch of immature adults. And do I enjoy watching it still? Yes. Is it very cringy now that I'm older? A hundred percent. Like I watch these people and I'm like, what are y'all doing? Like you guys are not bad girls. You guys are horrible people. <laughs> like for real, the way that they treat other people and their lack of consideration, it blows my freaking mind. Obviously there's a few good people 
in the seasons, you know what I mean? Throughout the seasons as you watch, there are a couple of good ones in the bunch. But for the most part, a lot of the people that enter that house are just foul human beings. And it is shocking to watch, honestly. Like, wow. And some of those girls who enter the house are like my age, okay? Like they're almost 30. It's not like they're 20 years old. Obviously some of them are like 21 or like in their early 20s, but a lot of them are like mid to late 20s. And at that stage in life, you know how to behave. And it's like, I get not liking people, 100% get it, because obviously I don't like everybody. Shocker, but I don't like everybody, you know what I mean? And sometimes I have a hard time dealing with people that I don't like, but I would never do some of the stuff that these girls do because it is foul. The behavior is nuts. Okay, we see some lift happening here. And see this, what's happening here? This is exactly why you don't wait four months to bleach your regrowth. You see how like my roots are starting to lift very quickly and then right here is not lifting as quickly? That's because this area of my hair has keratinized and an easy way to explain that is basically that part of my hair has become harder and it's harder for the bleach to penetrate and lift. It takes longer and it's harder for it to do. Um, so yeah, ideally you should be bleaching your roots like every four to six weeks, but I am definitely not about that life. Like. Mm -mm. Honestly, if I didn't do YouTube, I'd probably bleach my roots like once a year. I'm trying to like pull this hair down so that way none of the little flyaways get caught up in there and get sizzled off. <laughs> like I'm grilling on a hot 4th of July day, you know what I'm saying? Imagine if I did ASMR. I don't think I could handle it. My mouth is too big and I talk too loud. I actually enjoy ASMR. Like that stuff will put me right to sleep and it is very relaxing. And I don't like listening to ASMR in my free time. Like that's not, it's not something that I do. I don't pull up YouTube videos and watch ASMR. However, when videos come up on my TikTok for you page, I will definitely watch them. I don't seek them out, but when they occasionally appear, I sit there and I watch them. My favorite ones right now, my favorite ones are the rating the slimes of the week where like all of these slime companies they, they rate the scoopability of the slime and some of them are like very crunchy and it's all like ASMR. So it's like very quiet and it's just them scooping and like some of them are like crunchy and some of them are like soft. I, I love those. I will sit and watch those any day of the week. I will definitely waste a few minutes of my time watching people scoop slime. Another one that I used to like, I don't even know what happened to this page, I used to follow them, is like the body cream or like the body butters, whatever they are, where they would like scoop, actually it was exfoliants, body exfoliants. They would scoop it and they'd be like, and they'd do this like ice cream scoop and they'd scoop it in the container and be like, and it'd be like, Oh my gosh, I loved those. And they were really pretty too. Like they would do like pastel rainbow or like sherbet colors. What's on your guys' For You page? I'm so curious. Cause obviously everybody has a very, very different For You page. I actually like to switch mine up quite often, you know? I don't like it to be the same content all the time. I'm like, okay, that was cool. And then after like a month of the same content, I get kind of bored. And so I'll start like, I'm not interested. I'm not interested, you know, to get me on a different side of TikTok. That's what I like to do. I like to switch it up occasionally. Also you guys it has not rained here for a very long time like the grass dead green absolutely not talk about fried brown that grass was more fried than my hair like oh one little spark of a cigarette bud and we're all burning down like that's how bad and dry it was here the past like two or three days have been like gloomy and rainy and like today is rainy oh, like i'm sitting here doing this and I'm just like listening to the raindrops on the windowsill and it is so soothing. Like, wow, I forgot how much I missed rain. I feel like I live in like Arizona or something where we never get rain. This cloudy, rainy weather, it's got your girl in the spirit for Halloween and I am beyond ready for Halloween, you guys. Like, I know it's only June, but um, Halloween shopping begins in July. And I am, oh, am I ever in the mood? I'm like trying to save up some money so that way Mariah and I can go to all the stores when the code orange hits. And if you know what code orange is, then you know. And if you don't know, I'll tell you. Code orange is a terminology among the Halloween people. And basically code orange is when you go into a store and you see they started putting out Halloween stuff, that's a code orange, okay? <laughs> That's a straight up code orange. We have a code orange over here. It means that you're starting to see Halloween stuff in the stores and you gotta alert the other Halloween people. 
which stores are starting to come out with Halloween stuff. I'm on code orange alert. It's actually quite cold out too. It was like really hot. It was like in the 90s for a couple days and now it's like 60 something. So tell me it's not fall right now because if I didn't know the date, I would think we were approaching October. And I love summertime, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, I love summertime. I love the sun, I love it hot, I love the 90 degree weather, I love swimming. I just like the summer vibes. But once I've had about a month of summer, I am so ready for fall, baby. And I'm also ready for the holiday season, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to celebrate the holidays by myself, but hey, I'm celebrating, I don't care. This is my first year in my new place and I'm about to decorate and we're gonna have a good old time. I'm ready for some, some pumpkin spice stuff, hence why I'm drinking. One sip of the witch's brew and it puts me right into the middle of October. I can smell it. I can feel the crunching leaves, you know what I mean? And this is exactly why I cannot live somewhere warm. Okay, listen, I tried it. The warm weather all year, it's not for me. Winters might be long here, but I'll take all four seasons instead of palm trees and sunshine. Some people love that though, you know what I mean? Like, listen, I was somewhere warm and tropical during the holidays last year and that was depressing for me. Like, I think it honestly kind of depends on where you grow up. Cause like, obviously I grew up in the Midwest. So I'm used to seasons, I'm used to things changing. And when I was in the South where it was warm throughout Christmas and Halloween, that plays with your mind. Like it did not feel like the holidays. I saw the holiday decorations, I saw the Christmas trees and like everybody decorating, but I'm like, like I don't even know what day of the year it is. I'm like, it w it really messed up my mental stuff. And uh, it made me realize I 100% need the four seasons to know when reality is and like what's happening in the world. If I don't have my four seasons, it throws off my whole rhythm. And I don't know up from down, you know what I mean? Okay, so obviously I did not go around my hairline. I'm not going to, like I said, I am just going to leave that and let it do its own thing while the rest of this process is. The bleach is in fact working like it's supposed to. We got the front two sections done, which are easy. Okay, I can easily talk and communicate and multitask while the front two are processing. I can see pretty well back here. Should I try and turn around so you guys can see? That's the question. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. I'm gonna do a little voiceover and talk to you guys about this product and what I liked and what I didn't like about it. So originally when I first mixed it up, I absolutely loved the consistency. It reminded me so much of marshmallow fluff, like that's literally the exact consistency it was. So it made it super easy to apply and saturate. Also the product went a really long way, like I didn't have to use much product at all because you do mix it up one to two ratio. However, after it was sitting on my head for a while, it swelled up so bad like this is probably one of the worst bleaches i've used for swelling like i swear when i first applied it you can see it's not like swelling up at all but as it's sitting it swelled up like twice the size it originally was and obviously with swelling the bleach is going to go down the hair shaft a little bit so in terms of that it does swell my normal schwarzkopf bleach i use does not swell this bad. A lot of bleaches do expand, but this one seemed to expand more than other ones I have used in the past. This bleach also says it has keratin in it to help like repair your hair and prevent further damage. Um, my hair felt the same after bleaching as it normally does with any other bleach I have used. It is more conditioning than like a box bleach you would get at the store or like a box bleach that you would get at Sally Beauty. I feel like it is a little bit more conditioning, but overall my hair felt the exact same after bleaching with this bleach as it does with other ones. My Schwarzkopf Blonde Me bleach I normally use has bond enforcing in it, and I honestly feel like the Schwarzkopf bleach worked better than this. Like I said, I was really, really excited to try this bleach just because I've heard so many good things about it. And it did lift my hair pretty well, but I don't think it's the best bleach ever. I would not switch to this bleach from the one I normally use because I think the one I normally use does a better job of lifting. I feel like it also does a better job of keeping the health of my hair. It doesn't swell as bad. And also the Schwarzkopf bleach has a better fragrance to it and it has a blue base to it, which I think kind of helps counteract some of those yellow or brassy tones when you're lifting the hair. So this bleach does work. If you're touching up your regrowth every four to six weeks, 
this obviously is going to work a lot better. My hair is grown out, so it's going to have a harder time lifting. But I left this bleach on for the max amount of time, and I was just a little bit disappointed overall. I had just expected better results based on what I've heard and TikToks I've seen of other people using it. So yeah, I'll just stick to my normal Schwarzkopf bleach because it always does the best job at lifting my hair no matter how much it's grown out. Okay, I have everything applied. This is lifting really, really well. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. We'll do 30 minutes. I'll check it at 30 and we'll see if it needs rinsed or if I should do an additional like 10, 15 minutes. I just don't wanna set a timer and like forget about it and then like my hair falls out. So I'm gonna set a timer for 40 minutes. Once the timer starts, I'm gonna go back through and cross check everything. I say this in every one of my bleaching videos. If you don't know what cross checking your hair is, and you bleach your hair at home, I definitely recommend you start doing it. I'll just explain it really quick in case you've never heard that terminology before, but basically I applied the bleach on my head horizontally for the most part. So I was taking horizontal sections like this and applying the bleach. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through my hair vertically. So I'm gonna split my hair down the middle like this, pull it apart section by section, reapplying bleach at the roots and making sure I did not miss any sections. That way you're going back through your hair in a different way that you parted it when you applied the bleach and you're gonna be able to see if you missed any spots very easily. Right now, obviously my hair is starting to lift. So if I missed any spots, you'll see like a little brown spot and it should stand out really easily. So I'm just gonna go back through, cross check everything in my hair while it's starting to process and I will be right back with the finished outcome. And I don't know what that's gonna be, but I'm hoping it's good. All right, you guys, I am back. I just let my hair air dry for a little bit. I don't feel comfortable putting heat on it right now because obviously it's in a very fragile state. Really don't wanna spend like 30 minutes blow drying it with really, really hot air. So I just let it air dry a little bit so you guys could see the tone a little bit better. Um, my roots are pretty dry. They're like almost there. So here's what they look like. And honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I left this on on for 50 minutes okay when i set my timer so it had already been on my hair for a while before i set my timer and then from the point i set my timer it was on there 50 full minutes at room temperature and this is kind of disappointing it lifted my hair and now it is like a pale yellow but for leaving it on 50 minutes i would expect my regrowth to be white if I had used my Schwarzkopf Blonde Me and left it on 50 minutes with 20 volume, my regrowth would 100% have been white. Like there is still quite a bit of a banana -y yellow. Even though I waited a long time to bleach my roots, they should have lifted better than this. This top section is actually the best of it. The back where I put it on last is even more yellow. Obviously I applied it here first, so this is gonna be a little bit lighter than the back. I do wanna show you guys the back of my head so you guys can see how yellow it is back there. So let me spin around and show you that. So here's what the back looks like. Like I said, uh, pretty yellow, much more yellow than I would prefer it to be. But yeah, pretty disappointed with that. Also, exactly what I thought would happen, happened with the mint color. Um, the bleach ran through my ends when I rinsed it out, took out all of the mint color I had in my hair and left the pink behind. I knew this pink would not go away. Like it covered it temporarily, but it was still underneath the mint. And because this pink has stained my hair, it's not gonna come out. Like, I mean, it's definitely a lot lighter, but I mean, you guys can see like up here, it's still a pretty pink color, um, but this is fine. I'll be able to dye over this easily. I did lose a little bit of hair and my hair is still like shedding a little bit. This happens literally every time I bleach my hair, it never fails. So it's not necessarily because I use this bleach that I'm losing a little bit of hair. That's just how it is. Don't worry, I did get like an Afoji treatment. This is the Ion version of Afoji. So I have this on deck. I will be using this on my hair just to add some keratin back into my hair and make sure it stops breaking off and falling out. But here's the finished product. I was not planning on toning my roots because I'm just gonna dye over it with vivid color, but now my ends are so ashy and my roots are so yellow, I think I'm gonna go ahead and tone it. Like I said, the top isn't that bad, but like back underneath here, it's still very yellow. So I think I am going to wind up toning my hair at some point before I do the vivid color, just to make things a little bit more even in the back of my head. 
like I said, my ends are like a nice bright ashy white color and my regrowth is very yellow, especially back here. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave a link to all the products I used in the description down below for you guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. I mean